Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekah, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Um, hey, all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Hashem, bro, for this epistle. See, I wanted to bring this epistle out um, on either Sunday or Monday, but, you know, through the Spirit had me go in, in a different way on those days. Um, now, I had brought out, I had uh, actually, when I heard the elders and apostles, I got it, I got it right here. Let me grab one of these here. I think it's this one. When I heard these, of our Lord, what he's really going to do. Hold on, let me get out of the way. That's why when I heard the when I heard the elders apostles, let me get out of the way. Hold on, make sure this is the right one. Yeah, I actually recorded it. I recorded this. This is from one twenty eight twenty three. Because I said, man, I want to do an epistle on that, on on what they said. So we're gonna, uh, shit. How how are we gonna do this? Let me see. So, uh, what I want to do, bro, is play this. You know, I wish I could play the whole thing. This is like five minutes. What I recorded, I want to. I would like to play the whole thing, but I know through the spirit I'm going to be stopping throughout. Okay, and uh, the reason why I have this Second Timothy up here is because, hey, all praise to you. How about Shema Shah one four four? When I looked at the time, the reason why I have this Second Timothy up here. Now the spirit, uh, no, not this one. Titus. I had Titus. Where's Where's my Titus at? What happened to my Titus, bro? Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's go get it. I just had Titus up here, didn't I? Salaki. Okay, well, anyway, it should be Titus. Chapter 1, verse 15. Maybe I'm tripping. And this may be the title of this epistle. I'm not sure. It says, Until the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled, bro. Right, because I was thinking that this beautiful epistle, when I heard the Elder Apostle Great Millstone, when they were speaking about this at the live camp, I was like, man, that's beautiful, bro. I want to do an epistle about that. And then guess what, man? Uh, I think, what was it? Uh, I can't remember the day. It says one day ago. This bug out, and you can see the elder Bible de defenders from Baltimore had to do a response. Apostle Tahar says you must go through them to get to the kingdom. This bug out here had made an, a rebuke on Elder Apostle Tahar, bro. So we're going to have to touch on this as well. You know, um, because once again, when I heard Elder Apostle Tahar, them speaking about, let's, let's play the video. When I heard him, man, I, I'm like... All praise to you, have my shem, my shot, because we're, we're gonna get it. We're gonna we're gonna play a little bit, and we're gonna just bounce it back and forth. And Lord willing, it'll be a short epistle, but Lord willing, it's gonna be edifying and exhorting. At the end point that we want to bring out, the point of this epistle is uh, is this. Uh, let's get this Matthew real quick. But he answered and said, "It is written, man should not live by bread alone." But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, you know, and the scripture says us, if, if a man should speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The priest's lips should keep knowledge. Um, and these are the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Uh, everything was written and written for time for learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. These are the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, whether you hear or whether you forbear, bro. Once again, Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man should not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Shemashai. Put turn that stereo back on. And let's just play Elder Apostle, a great millstone, real quick. And uh, once again, we might be stopping it throughout. Because they, they, they bring out some beautiful points, bro. Coming of our Lord, what he's really going to do. That's why you don't know about your own nation. And I'm talking about you in these wacky tacky churches. Christianity. Okay, yeah, you black Christians of the No, there you go. You black Christians. The other, the other half, the little less than half, 
about 40, 45 percent or so are Christianity. So where did you where did you get who who introduced you to Christianity and who introduced you to Islam? It was your oppressors, the one that conquered you. And here you are to this day worshiping that shit, man. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, you don't know about the Edomites. That's why you don't know about uh, the coming of our Lord, what he's really going to do. That's why you don't know about your own nation. And I'm talking about you in these wacky tacky churches because your oppressor taught you. He's, he's not going to teach you the truth. Yeah, and that's a beautiful point, bro, because, you know, uh, uh, we always make mention, you know, uh, I remember when I first started preaching this word, um, after hearing the elders apostle great millstone learning you know from them and all the brothers on down there on the down down that umbrella bro having the holy spirit of yahweh shima uh i was i would start the live camp out like we've been lied to you know even this morning bro i uh had picked up this guy and uh he started to talk something about you know something about the scriptures kind of and i just i just couldn't help but to you know, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, you know, just to express that, you know, hey, just in case, whether you hear or whether you forbear, that this is the truth. Yahweh Hashem has blessed us with this truth. So let not truth and mercy forsake thee, that we've been lied to. And the Lord has commanded all men everywhere, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, to repent, right? You know, there was a time that he winked at, we didn't in, in, in our ignorance, but now he's commanded all men to repent, to come back, to be gathered by the word, to get in order. Right. And that's why we're going to make a, a, a little dabble into the uh, into that rebuke video uh, uh, from the elder from Baltimore, because the guy. Uh, I'm not sure his name and, it, you know, he's just another bug out, bro. He's just another non-believer, really. At the end of the day, I, he was one of them. Uh, I think it's that's the same guy that's talking about we in the uh, new covenant and. Um, and what he's doing is is just coming against the word Yahweh Shemashah, coming against the prophets of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone uh, for strife, you know, coming up with strife and uh, just uh, being an anti-Messiah, actually. You know, he's that stumbling stone out there that's, you know, that a lot of Israelites going to follow and they're going to stumble because the, the, the word, you know, you have no cloak for your sins, saying that Great Millstone, starting with the Elder Apostle Great Millstone and all the brothers on the now umbrella, have the 100% truth, you know. This is the way you walk you in it. There's only one way, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Be washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth. Um, yeah, we've been lied to, bro. And the Lord's given us straight commandments what we should do to avoid punishment. Uh, we're going to get it in a minute. Come on, let's go back, man. Play some more of this. Salaki, bro, I had just had to say that, man. He's not going to teach you that you're actually better than him. And you're the chosen people and that he's the devil that the, that the Bible speaks of. He's right. not going to teach you that. How does that benefit him? Yeah, and that's why to this day you believe that the book, the, the Bible is a white man's book. Because, you, because the <coughs> oppressor taught you the Bible in slavery, man. Okay, that's why, oh, uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, if you could bring that out, Jeremiah okay. 3 and 15. That's why the Lord said he's going to give you pastors. As a matter of fact, we're going to read it. Yeah, and I bring that out the all the pastors. time. That's an order to this thing. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. Right, because... You, the, these, these so-called pastors in these churches, they're not according to the Heavenly Father's heart. What does that mean? Meaning they're not speaking the hundred percent truth. Right, and also these are the circumcision. As you're about to see when we go get this uh, response video, you're gonna hear what that what that bug out say. I want to grab this. Um, I want to grab this Acts chapter eight verse. Uh, we're gonna start at twenty six, and the angel. And the angel of, of the Lord spoke unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down to, from Jerusalem to Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. He was reading Isaiah the prophet, a stroll. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Right. Do you understand what you're reading, bro? 
Okay, see, a lot of uh, Israelites, the, the, even them under circumcision, you know, they're not coming to the, coming to being obedient to the word of Yahweh Shemashah. You know, they they don't have real full faith in Yahweh Shemashah, and that's why we open up with that Titus. We're gonna go get it in a minute again. Understand what thou thou readest, and he said, "How can I accept what some man God should guide me?" And he desired Philip that he should come up and sit with him, bro. All right, yeah. So once again, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Right? You know, you have about Shemashah is it's just like the elders bringing out right now. He's gonna giving us passages according to to his own heart that's gonna feed us with knowledge. And what before we came into the truth. You know, before we came into the understanding of Yahweh of the of the that we the Israelites, we were out there as Gentiles, bro. Out there as heathen, uh, being a part of this wicked ass world. But then Yahweh Shemashah blessed us. Many are called, but few are chosen. The scripture in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 2 says, Many shall awake that sleep in the dust, some to everlasting life, and some to everlasting shame and contempt. And we're able to see, you know, the scripture that um that um that epistle that we brought out last night, now, knowing good and evil, you know, hold fast for salvation. You know, now that the Lord has blessed us to come back and return and discern between them that serve Yahweh Shemashah and them that serve him not. You know, it's, you just humble down and wait on Yahweh Shemashah to come and deliver us because he's showing us all these things to build up our faith, to know, that, know for 100% true that, you know, these words are true and faithful. You can see, and unto the pure, though. All things are pure, but to them that are defiled and unbelieving, is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Right? When we, we watch, bro, when we go and watch this video, the same video that we're watching of Elder Positive to Hardem right now, this guy is gonna see something totally different. He's gonna be thinking, like, I want to say, I want to use the word, like they say in the word, he, he hating, hating on the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone, bro, right? because you know he's just. Once again, unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, it's nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience defiled. And this helps us to even understand right here. But as but he answered and said, as it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Shemashah. So we should be trusting, man. It, it makes it so easy for us to trust in every word of Yahweh Shemashah. He said there's going to be false prophets among you, you know, uh, Telling us who Esau is, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Telling us his plans. He is the sword of the Lord. Telling us about the M-A-R-K, the implementation of the M-A-R-K, this time of Jacob's trouble. That we're going to call on the Lord. He's going to deliver us out of the, all, of, all of our troubles. My servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. This is time of great judgment. World War III, just like Big Brother Elder was brought in, bringing out last night, man. The spirit of prophecy. Okay? Let's go back to the video. Yeah, so how can you, know, how can you unless some man teach you? And these bug outs... I seem to have forgotten that, but that's a part of the story. That's a part of the story, bro. From what the Heavenly Father is saying, according to the scriptures. All right, go ahead. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Bam. Right? You're not getting that in these wacky tacky churches. You're not getting the Or with these other wayward Israelite camps and groups either. Right? All you, all, look, most of your entertainers, right? Most of your entertainers came out of these wacky tacky churches. Why is that? The singers and your dancers, your entertainers. They came. They, is that what God's church is supposed to produce? Entertainers. And what the Lord say? How about Shemasha say? I do not dwell in a temple made with hands. You know, we're the temple. We're the true church of Yahweh Shemasha, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. The Spirit of the Lord dwelleth in us. You know, the kingdom of heaven is in us, bro. And this is that 100% truth that's being preached on the four corners of the earth, being washed and clean, baptized with this word of truth, coming back, being reborn. Okay. The Lord constantly say, I don't not dwell in no temples made with hands. But what do you see with these other Israelite groups and camps as well? They all up. They got to get that church. They got to get that congregation. You know what I'm saying? They got to get the, that 501c3. They're going off, bro. That's not where Yahweh Shemashah is at. Yahweh Shemashah, the spirit of the Lord is in us. The 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel bringing out this 100% truth, bro. Well, are they supposed to produce prophets and teachers that are supposed to teach the gospel 100% uh, of the gospel? Like, like, look, Aretha Franklin came out of where? She came out of the so-called church. Whitney Houston, the same thing. Sissy Houston, the same thing. Ray Charles, the same thing. 
All right? Go ahead. Uh, that, was, that, was pretty much, that was the point on that. I'll read it again. Okay. It says, and I will give you pastors according to my heart. Now, we are those pastors? We are those pastors that Yahweh Shemiah Shai is giving you. And if it's right. You know, uh, hey, I got to, hey, Salaki, bro, I got to bring it out one more time because the, what, what did the strippers say? Yahweh Shemiah Shai said, I'm going to give you pastors according to my own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. This guy, we got to, now we got to go play it, man. We got to go play it so y'all can hear what he's saying. Let's, let's, let's play it, okay? So we'll be on the same page, okay? Let me turn it up. I'll listen to it for yourself. Uh, St. John 21. Very, very, I say it to you. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put in a little narrator so you'll know exactly what we're talking about. So after all that's said of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone, the only thing that this bug out say once again, going to that Titus, until the pure, all things are pure, but until them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind is con and conscious is defiled. Right. The only thing he heard is that the elders, apostles saying that you got to go through them to get to you. How about Shemasha? You know, but the, we, you know, we're just merely servants of the Lord, bro. The Lord said, you know, is it, you know, uh, like that, like the brothers always say, do, you know, do you expect the Lord to come down here? And teach you himself? Come on, man. He, he always sent out the prophets. And then this bug out claims to be a prophet. So, it, it, woo. It, hey, man. Here's the message. <laughs> Come on, let's watch it. Oh, my goodness, man. Check it out. We that enter of not one by the door into the sheepfold. The climbeth up from mother way. What's the, what's the door and what's the sheep for? You have a size of the door. But, but you got to climb in through us. Do it right. Who the head to the who the head to us? We got the highest rank in the Bible. What you yeah. talking about? Right, you gotta, you gotta, some, you know, what does the scripture say? You gotta be washed and clean and baptized with this word of the truth. What does the scripture say? Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shemashah plain. Let's read it. Let's say it one more time. Roughly paraphrasing. That's that Romans. Let's see if we can go find it real quick. Is, do we have an open tab? Romans 10. Uh, I think it may be 14 somewhere. KJV. Okay, it says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear? What? Wait a minute. How shall they hear without a preacher, bro? Come on, man. Goddamn, damn bug outs, bro. And how shall they preach? What? Except they be sent. Sent by who? By Yahweh. He said, I'm going to give you pastors according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings. You know, bring good news, bro. Telling you, hey, your, your warfare is accomplished, you children of Israel. The Lord's about to come back and redeem his people. But you, you know, at least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Prepare your hearts and your minds for the return of the Lord. Prepare your hearts and the time, and wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of, the, of their time. Where are you going to get this wisdom and knowledge from? From the elders, apostle, great millstone, bringing out this 100% truth. Why? Because simply every damn body else is going to fuck off. That's why they're getting rebuked. Mark them that cause the vision, bro. There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism, my man. Come on, y'all. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Exactly. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report, man? Who believed this word, bro? So then what? This is the point we want to make. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shemashah. So, you know, once again, how should they hear without a preacher? Let's go get that. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Right, because you, once again, that Matthew, bro. But he answered and said, it is written, man should not live by every, by bread alone, but by every word. You should, you're going to be, should be living by this word. Joshua chapter one, verse eight. What, do we have another tab open somewhere? Let's go get that Joshua real quick. This book of the law and the, what the priest lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law out of his mouth. Out of whose mouth? The priest, bro. 
But wait a minute. What if? What if the? Should they be seeking it from the false prophets? No. By the ones that the Lord has sent, starting with the elder apostle, great millstone with that hundred percent truth, the word of Yahweh Shemashah. This book of the law, and then this guy got a nerve to say, "Y'all man pleasing." Bro, we the Lord told us to learn from the elders apostle great millstone with the hundred percent truth, not false, not false prophets. The Lord say, "Hey, be gathered by the word of truth. You're gonna be gathered by the word. You know the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Lord. But you got all Israel is not Israel, bro. Okay, this book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth. And all these, everything that we're speaking about is of the words of Yahweh Shemashah, of the law of Yahweh Shemashah, about the false prophets. You know." The anti-Messiah spirit out here. Okay. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. The devil that the Bible speaks of. And their wicked agenda. The return of the Lord. How he's going to cast them out of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is about to be established. Where there is righteousness. All of these are written in the scriptures. And the Lord has made this known to us. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe to do. To do. According to all that is written therein. Right. So. The Lord said, get together by the word. I pray that you all speak the same thing. Come on to one accord. You know, rebuke them sharply so they be sound in the faith. You know, according to all that is written therein. For then, when you do these things, what does it say? What does the scripture say? When you do these things, you shall never fail. For then shall thou make thy way prosperous, and then shall thou have good success, bro. Plain, 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 plain. Plain to the holy, but stumbling blocks to the wicked. Let's go back to this bug out uh, thing. With a doorkeeper. You guys have had a bishop is lower than the prophet. A deacon is lower than the prophet. And there's an order. The general is lower than the prophet. There's an order. There's an the order. The general is lower than the prophet. The both sides give us a prophet. They give us a prophet. And how you say I said I'm the apostle Paul, I mean the apostle Peter as the head. That's right. That's right. You made the apostle. There was a disciple to a apostle. Bishops are in a lower position. You got to lead the church. Yeah, yeah. The apostles are the head guys. Right. Uh, now, you all heard that, man. He said, no, you got to go through us. And see, now, the, the, uh, I believe that was Elder Sakharan speaking at first, and he was right. Yeah, Yahweh Shai is the door. See, but y'all tried to save him. Y'all tried to save that man. No, he's going off, man. He's going off, man. No, he's this guy's going off because what what does he what does he want us to do? Does he want us to wing it? You know? But once again, before we came into the truth, we're just out here thinking that we some Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Now there's supposed to be order. You come out to come to your Habashim Shemashai, repent with your whole heart, the Lord's gonna give you the, the gift of the Holy Spirit, if it be your lot to get to receive it and believe these words and understand it. You're going to be taught by the man that the Lord has set up. That's been preaching his word for 35 years plus, bro. All the other brothers on, on, on their fruit that's coming up preaching his word. You're going to learn from these men. You're going to learn the, the breakdown of Daniel chapter 2 verse 31. And understand who your enemies are. You know? Understand about the, this uh, going into that this is a, the end of Esau's age. The end of his kingdom. You know? By looking at adding, you know, the scriptures letting you know. About these different empires that has risen and fallen. And it's, it's just so plain that this is the, the end of their kingdom. And what's the next kingdom to be established? is the kingdom of heaven, bro. So you should be seeking out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. Trying to learn as much as you can. Seeking the Lord's face while he may be found. Let's go back to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone. That's all we're going to play on that guy. And we're going to put this in the description box. Biblical Defenders. You know, response of Apostle Tahar says you must go through them to get to the kingdom. And that's not what they're talking about, speaking about. But we just read it in the book of Romans, chapter 10, uh, verse 14 on down. Right. How how shall they preach except they be sent? You know, how how the people going to hear and learn and believe in the Lord? You know, unless this comes through the mouth of the prophets, the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And once again, are we supposed to be listening to bug outs or false prophets? Or are we supposed to be fumbling around trying to learn the word ourselves? Huh? <laughs> no. Yeah, how about Shemashah set this up, bro? Once again, let's go get that, that Acts again. Acts chapter 8, verse 
30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Plain, bro. Come on, man. <clears throat> so I almost want to say the point has been made, but the, but we gonna we hey, look. We we said what we said. There was a little light, there was a little rebuke on him, but as you know, as we understand, you know, um, they're just reprobate. They're not gonna get it. But this is for us to build up our faith. You know, basically, because I wanted to do a beautiful epistle, you know, of the word of Yahweh Shemashah and, and something the elders say. They're going to say it in a minute. You know, the whole thing, what they're saying right now, that's why I, I captured this this moment. Actually, I had to go back and, 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 and uh, record another minute that I'm, that I'm going to add to this. So this this is a clip right here is four minutes long and the other minute is one minute long. The other uh, the other little segment that I recorded. But they all is, is right back to back. But I did, I stopped it too early. And at the end, Elder Apostle Guptar is going to do a little dance, man. I like it, bro, because, you know, when I when I saw him do that, you know, we are we are made alive. The Lord has, has blessed us and quickened us and made us alive. We're not no rigid. You know how, like, these damn false prophets out here, they, they rigid and stuff. And they're, they're so regimented. As you can see, the vocab belongs. Uh, if he said this, we're going to say that. You know, because... They've been taught this, but this, this, this is the spirit of truth. The, the, the rivers of living water, there's this flow, bro. We are made alive, okay? The scripture it speaks about, He that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in where the congregation of the dead, bro. Come on, let's get back to the video. It's not for the whole nation anyway. It's only for the elect. Only, only the elect. For the, elect. The, the Heavenly Father has a chosen number. The election have obtained it. The election have obtained it. It's the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, bro. And the rest were blind. And the rest were blind. The rest of whom? The rest of this nation. They were blinded to what? The truth. So, and do you know that there's other Israelite groups that ain't even teaching this? Yep. They're not teaching that. They're not of the elect. They're not of the elect. Because an elect will, an elect will, will, will recognize another elect. Yeah. Yeah. You're teaching that. When the elder said that, I, I, I thought about that worldly, uh, that worldly saying that we used to say, real recognize real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. The spirit. Hey, once again, it goes back to the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Lord. Yahweh about Shemashah? Because everybody else, they're going to be looked at as a heathen man. You know? Yeah. That's talking about the Galatians chapter 6 verse 16 again. Oh, you teach that the MOTB you know? is sin. The yeah. Israel of the Most High. It's only given in nation, then you're not of the elect. Because you, you, you would hear the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is speaking to us. Yep. Give me that in John. Con. What does the scripture say? It says, if it were possible, they shall deceive who? The very elect. That, hey man, that makes me, through the spirit, makes me want to go get another scripture too real quick. Uh, we want to go get this. Um, 1 John chapter 5 verse 19. You know, the same scriptures over and over and over again, bro. Because they're, they're, they're faithful and true. We know that whosoever is born of Yahweh Shemashah sinneth not. But he that is for begotten of Yahweh Shemashah keepeth himself, and the wicked one touches him not. And we know that we are of Yahweh Shemashah, and the whole world lieth in the wickedness, bro. That's right, man. We made holy and separate, okay? This is very precious. Holy and separate, bro. The whole world lieth in wickedness. If you're not. Under this doctrine of Yahweh Shai, being quickened and made alive, you're out there being tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine out there in the world, one way or the other. You know, you're not looking, you know, the scripture speaks about uh, the day of the Lord, you know, coming as a thief in the night. You're not looking. The spirit of prophecy is not on you to trust and believe this word of truth. You know, you're not worried. You're not, you're not praying and, and asking how about Shemashah to have mercy on you, to forgive you for your sins constantly over and over again, to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. See, we're waiting on, we're waiting on you how about Shemashah to come. We're hoping and praying that any day now, the bottom of this motherfucker going to drop the fuck out, bro. Implementation of the MARK, martial law, World War III, all these things, we're hoping that they kick off. This is the 2023, the year that all these prophecies, Lord willing, be fulfilled, bro. You guys are deceiving, man. Like I said, I did a video entitled uh, something to the effect of I'm, I'm a trillion percent sure. Yep. All right? Yep. 
So the Lord is dealing with who? The very elect. That's what these other Israelite groups are not teaching. So the book stops here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the end of that one. That's the end of that one fifty video. We're gonna get the second video epistle here of the live camp, and this one's only a minute and nine seconds. Let me see. How are we gonna do this? Let me see if I can trade it. I thought it was gonna do it by itself. The very elect, and you guys are deceived, man. Like I said, I okay, did yeah. video. Okay, yeah. So this is it. I started it right, you know, because I had to go back a little bit. So this it overlaps a little bit, and this is the same one. Okay, so when we get, you know, we're going to play this one out, and then we're going to bring out a few more strips and just close it out. Okay, brothers and sisters? But the, the point has been made. All praise to you. How about you, my shot for this? This spirit, this truth, this morning. Entitled uh, something to the effect of, I'm, I'm a trillion percent sure. Yep. All right? Yep. So the Lord is dealing with who? The very elect. That's what these other Israelite groups are not teaching. So the buck stops here. <laughs> mm -hmm. you okay, John 10 and 26. It says, But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Woo! 26 verse? St. John 10 and 26. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. from the top. Oh, sorry, from the top. Okay. Uh, St. John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not, thought by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other so way. What's the, what's the door and what's the sheepfold? Yeah, how is the door? But but you gotta come into up. Uh, hold on, bro. Do it right. Down Do the head. The head possible. With you got the highest rank in the Bible, yeah, which are yeah. apostles. With a doorkeeper. You guys are not. A bishop is lower than the apostle. A deacon is lower than the apostle. A yeah. general is lower than the apostle. A king is lower than the apostle. Both sides dealing with the prophets, aka the apostles. Yeah, how was I set up the apostle Paul? I mean, the apostle Peter as the head. That's right. No. That's right. He made him apostle. They went from disciple to apostle. Bishops are in lower position. You got to run the church. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The apostles are the head guys. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. You got to say that we're the twelve apostles. No. Although we might be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna run with it. You heard what he said? I said that for them. I said that for them. With it, this dance is just for you. Yeah. I like that. I, I like that. Dance. Dance. I got the new dance for them, Bert and Hernie said. That was, that was it, man. His dance is just for you. I love it. All praise to you. How about you, my shy? And it makes me want to go get this scripture right here. And like I said, we're going to close it out in a minute. This is the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice. And all guile, you know, and hypocrisies, bro, and envyings, and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is gracious, to whom coming as unto a lively stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh, and precious. Ye also, what? Ye also. Yeah, Yahweh Shah is the first fruit. Ye also, you know, that, that Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh Shah. That's right. Having no guile in your mouth, preaching this 100% truth, brotherly love, warning the children of Israel, getting the blood off our hands, you know, condemning this wicked ass world, waiting patiently on Yahweh Shah, making ourselves a living sacrifice. Being truthful, being faithful, being sincere. Wherefore also it is contained in the scriptures. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Right. You know, the same thing over and over again. Titus chapter 1 verse 15. Unto, you, unto the pure all things are pure. This word is true and pure, bro. But unto them that are defiled and what? Unbelieving. You don't believe in Yahweh Shem Hashem, bro. It's nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience defile, my man. Okay, once again, Matthew, as it is, it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Shemashah. Why are calling me Lord, Lord, and do not what I say, bro? Wherefore also is contained in the scriptures, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone. You know, the Lord said, hey, be gathered by the word. I pray that you all speak the same thing. Have no guile in your mouth. Examine yourself. 
You know, trust in your heart, Hashem, Hashem, with all thine heart. Lean not on your own understanding. I'm going to give you pastors according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. Who are those pastors? Watch out. There are going to be false prophets out here, as, as false prophets would be among you, bro. Behold, I lay in Zion. And we, because we're talking about the book, the, the book, the Holy Scriptures in its entirety. You can't pick and choose what you want. Believing in his word all the way. Will, when Yahweh Shema shall return, will he find faith on the earth? Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. You know, you got to put it all together, bro. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious. Cherish this word of Yahweh Shema Shai. Get to know Yahweh Shema Shai. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, bro. But unto them which be disobedient, right? you disobedient. You're already over there doing something, you know, on your own. The, but the body of Yahweh Shema Shai is over here with the spirit of the Lord. Under the, under the tutelage of the great millstone, the elders, apostles, great millstone, and all the brothers under the umbrella. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. But unto, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which di be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. They were appointed to be that, bro. But what? My favorite scripture. One of my favorite scriptures. But ye are a chosen generation. Okay? That 144 hopeful elect and one-third of Israel. That all the rest of the two-thirds two going to come back through the nutsack of the 144 hopeful elect and one-third of Israel. And we're praying and ho hoping to be a part of that number, bro. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show pray forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's right. Isaiah chapter 60. You know, gross darkness to people, but the light shall arise upon you. You know, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, bro. Where we at now? <sighs> Come on, let's get this man real quick. Uh, let's grab this, Timothy. Now, the, speak, the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. It's plain right there. It's telling you some people are just going to be going off. You just, we just have to expect that. Okay? But look, for, for us, um, Acts chapter 2, verse 42, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayers. We continue steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Okay? And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all the believers were, to get, were together and had all things common. Okay? Okay, all things coming. We're going to leave it right there. I want to jump back over here to, uh, of course, we've got to bring out 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the land on the hands of the presbytery. Right, man. Stay right here. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy prophecy may appear to all. You know, all are going to see that light, the 100% truth. The ones that are supposed to see it and believe it and repent and be healed. <clears throat> The scripture speaks about in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 10. The wicked shall, many shall be purified. Let's go get it real quick. Daniel. Twelve ten. And see, this is believing every word of Yahweh Shemashah, bro. Every word. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of Yahweh Shemashah. This is having faith in the word, trusting in the word. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. You're going to be going through it, bro. Do you really believe? Or are you going to hold on? Or are you going to endure it to the end? Let's make you stronger. Gold tried in the fire. But the wicked, what are they going to do? They're going to stumble at the word. They're going to fall back. They're going to go back in the world. They're going to start, uh, be, they're going to be seduced by these spirits like we just read. And doctrines of devils. But the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. We're going to. Understand and hold on, man, Lord willing, because we're afraid and we're asking how about Shai to keep us until the day of his return. The spirit of prophecy. Okay? What we what was that? Meditate upon these things. Give thyself holy. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee. So this is first Timothy four fourteen, which is given thee by prophecy, you know, that we're gonna wake up in the last days. He's gonna send Eliza Eliah the prophet, the to turn the hearts of the sons to the so the to the fathers and the fathers to the son. We're going to remember who we are. We're the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. We're going to repent with our whole heart. We're going to cry unto you, how about Shemashai? You know, we're going to be gathered by the word of truth. 
You're still going to have the same generations of, of those, uh, those uh, non-believers that are coming back. They say, let the blood be upon us and upon our children. Everybody's here, bro. Okay? In these last days. Everybody's standing in their lot. Okay? What's that, what's that scripture in the book of uh, Revelation chapter? Let's go get it. Revelations uh, 11. No, Le Revelations 22 and 11. He that is unjust, hold on, let's start, let's 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 jump up here. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Right. Don't don't seal them up. Because all these things must come to pass. You got, we were just reading in the book of Daniel, right? The wicked, you know, shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given. All these things are written. Prophecies to say before. Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, bro. So he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Because you're coming back standing in your lot. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Separate, pure, sanctified. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do Doers of the word, now here's only his commandments. Being gathered by the word. Having faith in Yahweh Shemasha. Being obedient to this word. You know. Humbling yourselves on the side of Yahweh Shemasha. Being in order. Not rebellious. What the hell? Is, what what y'all doing out here? You know, you get rebuked and you don't take the rebuke. What you think gonna happen to you, bro? What does the scripture say? A man being often reproved, reproved hardness his neck. His neck Shall be destroyed suddenly and that without remedy. <laughs> hey, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of Yahweh Shemashah. These words are faithful and true. So what you going to think will happen? Okay? Come on. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they, have, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Okay? For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and make it a lie. Okay, bro? So we're going to end it off right here. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy prophet may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and into the doctrine. Continue in the, the doctrine. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Continue in them. For in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. See? You're going to save yourself and them that take heed to the words of truth. 100% truth, bro. So. It was just a beautiful, you know, understanding of the gift, you know, of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone that the Lord has put forth, you know, just understanding the the whole picture, man, it's just a, a joy, a delight, and having faith in Yahweh Hashem you know, and taking advantage of this mercy that the Lord has blessed us with, these teachings, so wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times, bro, and that's all we're doing, trying to convey this word to the believers, you know, because the Lord has put the Spirit on us to have that faith, this gift of faith, and He said, um, in the book of John, chapter 17, verse 17, and we're going to close it out with this, bro, Salaki. Sanctify them through thy truth. Once again, thy word is truth. All the words, you know. Do you believe the words? As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I also sent who? Them into the world, okay? And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth, made separate and holy. Only a remnant shall return. Neither I pray for these alone, but also for but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, bro. You see that? The Lord has set this up. It's not of men. Because if it was of men, it would come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh Shemashai, I cannot overthrow it, bro. This is the will of Yahweh Shemashai. And we're so thankful to be a part of that, bro. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikach, Wadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.